Mr. Biden will join leaders across the world at Her Majesty's funeral at Westminster Abbey on Monday. However, it had been reported that leaked government guidance requested leaders traveling to London to abandon their official cars and arrive by shuttle bus. The official documents, which had been obtained by Politico Sunday, requested leaders leave their personal vehicles at a site in West London and attend the funeral in shared coaches. The Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, blamed tight security and road restrictions for the measure. The Prime Minister's official spokesperson has since confirmed that the UK government, rather than Buckingham Palace, was in control of the logistical arrangements. However, they refused to comment on specific details for operational security arrangements. Responding to questions about how Mr. Biden might attend the event, the spokesperson added, I think that would be a question for the US and how they prefer the president to travel. I would say that clearly arrangements for leaders, including how they travel, will vary depending on individual circumstances. And the guidance and information provided is guidance. Timothy Miller, a security specialist and former U.S. Secret Service agent, added, the bottom line is the President of the United States would never fly commercial and or ride on a bus. There is a long history of his security being fully accommodated by host nations during these types of events. There is no ability for the Secret Service to compromise his security even for an event like this. Mr. Biden confirmed his attendance at the Queen's funeral as he boarded Air Force One on his return to Washington from a visit to Ohio. He said, I don't know what the details are yet but I will be going. However, the White House also revealed Mr. Biden's predecessors, including Donald Trump, would not receive an invitation to attend the funeral. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre instead told reporters that the official invitation from His Majesty's government was extended only to the incumbent president and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. She said, the invitation was extended to the U.S. government for the president and the First Lady only. Thank you.